Everyone on my side Now I got it back and I tell her say goodbye Yeah, I'm in my zone, yeah, they ask me how I do this Right up in a whip, yeah, I hit it, now I'm moving this is one of the coolest days of the year because it's the Wisconsin Freestyle and Greco State Wrestling Tournament. No, I can't wrestle. I'm in college. But my younger brother Carter is actually wrestling, so he's wrestling at 160 pounds. So in the season, he wrestled 145, but he's gotten bigger. He wants to, of course, lift more, put on some size. But we're going to the Wisconsin Dells here. Let's get this two-hour drive in. For these next matches now, I actually think I'm going to do this voiceover. So um, this is Carter's first match of the Freestyle Tournament. Now, he actually never won a match at Freestyle State. So um, he definitely, of course, wanted to do well and, of course, do his best to get on the podium. But for his first opponent here, I believe he was a state qualifier. I know he faced... I, I'm pretty sure everyone he faced was a state qualifier. I, I, you know, at some point you're gonna see the next match who he faced too. But uh, he's a stud. But Carter was uh, on the attack, did a good job defending here from his arm drag. Um, now this dude hits hits kind of nice, like almost like a uh, like what's that called? An underhook like shrug by. Um, but that's all right. Carter defended the gut wrench there, dropped down on a double leg, but he kind of went to the hip instead of kind of sticking with the legs. But here he tries to throw. Just he didn't really have an arm and. Uh, it just seemed like he was going way too fast and kind of um, rushed it a little bit, uh, but no worries. I only think that guy got two points for that instead of four. Here's Carter on a leg again, does a nice job, finally getting on the scoreboard, getting some points in. He works in a gut wrench and gets him to roll over. So boom, gut wrench is two, takedowns two, four to four. Uh, this dude was getting on Carter on a single. Yet again, there's trading back and forth. Uh, you can see there, kind of in the corner, you got my dad and then Max Ashburn as the coaches right here. Carter did a great job of his transition. See, you don't even need to really lock up that lace perfectly as long as you're still going. You can see he did it twice here. So you got four points just from like a very, I wouldn't even say tight leg lace. He just goes right into, you know, that low double. Looks like he's just shooting again because he know he can take him down. At this point, a four would win the match. Um, still the first period, but... Let's, let's see what, what this guy is going to do here. Looks like he's almost going to get a go behind. It looks like the time is ticking down. And unfortunately, he is just going <laughs> to let him kind of go behind there with like one second left. But uh, no worries. Still on top. Talking over some strategy. 12-8. to 8. Car, car again from the knees, shot right to the leg. Now, Car is super strong, and you're going to see this. Um, like, he just picks guys up. And this is, this is actually going to be full red just because that blue didn't stop his motion. So even though it looks like he did, he you know did not. And this was a nice, like, weird lat drop. But this was sick. Just stepped in, elevated his right leg on that, uh, stuck tight, and that would be four. Now, I think he should have gotten the tech at this point. No. Oh. Oh, no, he's going to get the tech right here. But looks like that guy tried to gut wrench. Car went for the head and scored two from here. So this was a first match that was super high scoring, was at 21 to 10. Um, so, yeah, super good match. First one in the freestyle tournament. And now we're going, oh, wait, maybe it's the third match he faces. Uh, you'll see who it is. But second match, uh, I think this is to go to the quarters, I believe. Uh, but good match return there, getting that takedown in. Um that I think is that's two red there from that like little belly tilt. He does it again here. That should be another two. Just gives up a one here as long as he can defend a gut, which unfortunately the dude guts him. Um, Carter again on the knees or on his on his legs already. Now here I thought he was gonna arch back and toss him for five, but he just gets a step out there. So seven to three. Carter's winning. Uh, Carter does a great job defending his lat drop. I think we only got two for that one. Um, oh, maybe four. It's 11-5 here. I don't know whose score that was. It looked like blue. It could be red. I know there were some challenges in here. I only kept the highlights. Um, Carter, you know, again, wanted to kind of... Um, oh, check this out. Check this out. This is huge. Carter gets up on the toe and front flips with him. This, see, I thought it was five points, and I think it should be. The dude literally went feet overhead completely, but a lot of refs were telling me on my Instagram that was only four, and I, th I think it was four here. I think I just thought the ref held up five, but he does it two times in a row, and this is going to end the match. Like, that was in a matter of 15 seconds, and I was like, Carter just figured out he could just shoot on the legs, pick a guy, pick a guy up, and front flip with him, so that was sick. But now in the third match here, I, I believe it's quarters, but he faces Braden Skulls. So Skulls is a four-time state champion. And, uh, you know, they, they train at the same aspirin. I don't think Carter practices with him much, but, um, you know, Carter, Carter's going to bring him the fight here. Um, so just a good job of um, knowing distance. Carter, Carter is strong, like I said. So um, he shoots on a double here, um, and he's, he's going to get the first point. He's going to get that first push out, which it was actually super great. I think he was like, okay, you know, maybe I, I can do this. I can work hard here. Um, looks like he almost gets uh, that front headlock position, but he, uh, Skull slips it right out. And Carter is going to hit an arm throw right here. Now, this, that scored Carter four points. 
for that one because Skulls didn't stop his motion. So if he would have stopped his motion, uh, that would have been Skulls' points. But you know, Skulls just got red what three times there. Carter's ear was getting huge, but I don't think Skulls liked this at all because it was six to five Skulls after that. Uh, but then he just kind of went on a tear here. You can see Carter getting taken down. He really wasn't gonna, you know, turn him here. I think he just wanted this front headlock. Uh, you're gonna see. It, I mean, it's it's tight. You're gonna get it tight. He's gonna step over Carter. I think almost passed out. Like that is so tight. Like I'm, so, and I'm, I don't know why the ref took so long to slap the mat, but uh, Kari gave him a good fight. Um, but battle back here on the backside and see what we can do. Now this is Casey Gish, you guys probably know for some past videos. Um, so he's actually probably going to lacrosse here this next year. Uh, you know, good friend from my old high school and. Um, this this is a second period, so it was kind of a close match, but this is where Casey really excels. He kind of just runs him over there. He just did another head pinch. Now, Crosby, er, uh, sorry, Casey was fighting. Uh, oh, it looks like he got four another there <laughs> after the tech, but he was fighting kind of an injury kind of on his thumb, which kind of sucked, but um, we, you know, we could see some of his scales or some of his skills from that performance. Next up on the same mat as well, I had to record that this Koi Hopke. So he actually just committed uh, to University of Minnesota. So, um, I mean, this is a stud. He was a, you know, former world champion and, um, yeah, so he's just going to put the work in. You're going to see him just continue to leg lace, even if they're not on the mat. But um, he loves, you know, ending matches early, putting points up on the board. And um, I didn't, I don't really get a chance to see him wrestle much. So it was cool to see him wrestle here. Um, and, then, you know, he wins the match. Now, this is Carter's first match of the consolation. Carter did a phenomenal job of getting up early. So you can see he just barely, you know, kind of missed that latch drop. Still got a point, a uh, step out point, but this guy takes him down. So, I mean... Whatever, Carter gets on the legs. He's going to hit him for four, which is beautiful there. I think that that should be four. Yeah, yeah that's four. But you're going to see Carter. It, Carter's just going to start putting in the work, right? That sh I think that might have been four, almost like a little fireman's carry without touching the leg. I kind of used to hit that a lot in high school, and he's actually going to try to work a gut wrench. He gets it really tight, really tight. He's going to get it. Boom. So Carter is up, I believe, nine points, and then he gets hit for four. So Carter only needed one more point for a tech fall, and then he got hit by four points, which was a big, that sucked. But And then this guy took Carter down, turned him once, and next thing you know, it was a close match. We're back in it. So uh, this this clearly had to show Carter's grit here. Um, this dude still, you know, bring it to Carter. He wants the win. Now Carter gets a nice, nice tight, um, you know, front headlock position, puts him over for four. Looks like Carter's going to walk him out here as well, going to get another one point, so five points from that. A little scuffle there. Car's gonna be back on the leg. Try to get a sweep single, but kind of cuts it off to a double get two. There's my dad kind of coaching Car up. Short time left, so telling him to just get to a leg. And uh, looks like Car is gonna score again here, and this is gonna seal the deal. So this was a pretty, a pretty gutty performance on him. So that was super, super good to see. All right, go for it. So by 20, 25, I'm gonna win two state titles, and I'll probably be on the world team twice at least. Right. I'm Chase Fish. So Chase wanted to pee in the videos and you know said what he said. I I just said to say um, make some uh, predictions for your wrestling so you can look back on this. But this dude was pretty good. Now there was literally what was it? I think four or six state champions in this 160 pound bracket. Like it was a tough bracket. Um, but this would end Carter's day. But nonetheless, he battled hard, got a huge cauliflower ear, and that's that. So this was about a week and a half ago. This whole state tournament. Now if you I. I have been working, okay? If you guys are following me on my Instagram or even TikTok, you guys know that I actually collab. We did a collab with Seth Gross, which you guys know he's a world team member last year, former national champion for South Dakota State. Now, the podcast with him on the Clash of Combat podcast is out, so go watch that. Super good. Definitely one of my top three podcasts already. We also filmed this little bit here uh, where we were like, you know, live wrestling and um, wanted to see if the splato was legit, and yeah. <laughs> now, today, tonight, actually, I, me, myself, Crosby Slosher and Mr. Shu are going on a trip. We're going to travel over nine hours. We're going to Pennsylvania. We're going to Cornell. I'm not going to spoil anything, but let's just say we got some podcasts to do. We have content coming out. It's just so much going on. And if you guys want to stay updated on that, I'll be posting more of it on my Instagram and also throughout my Patreon. If you guys are also looking for a really cool way to see your own wrestling stats come to life, then definitely download the Attack app. So for me, 85 strength, I think that should be a little bit higher. I don't know. I feel like I'm more of like a maybe a 92 strength. Uh, endurance 70. Um, that's... <laughs> 
that's probably legit. Honestly, I got to get that up. Uh, flexibility, mentality, uh, agility, all 99. That's what I like to see. Uh, but go download the attack app. That's linked in the description. But man, it's going to be a week. I, I'm ecstatic. I'm like shaking as it is like right now. Like, But I appreciate you guys sticking along for the journey. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe as well. Also be tuned. Next video that's coming out will be a top five moves with Seth Gross. So you're going to learn exactly how to do his spladle, which probably stand to look up for that. Thank you so much for my patrons who support me in there. And we'll see you guys next video.